Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Xiaomi Smart Infrared Blaster and this is a very special device and this actually helps you turn almost any kind of non-smart device from your home that is operated by a remote control into a smart uh, device and what this uh, thing does is uh, that it has um, infrared array around and an infrared sensor and this thing uh, comes with a huge database of infrared codes and you can program this to uh, execute almost any kind of control that you execute with a regular infrared controller so you can uh, have uh, control over your television over your air conditioning uh, over any kind of device that uses a remote control like a TV box and so on and if the code is not in the database of the app which I'm going to show you right away uh, this also has a cloning function and if you still have the original remote you can build a custom remote with the needed functions and this will scan the code of your remote controller save it and then it will execute it and you can create a virtual um, keyboard on your mobile phone and each time when you press that button this thing will emit infrared and will control those devices so uh, let's see how this thing works I'm going to skip the unboxing because in the box uh, you are only going to get the um, micro USB cable and this is needed for powering up the device and it's that uh, type of uh, flat USB cable which I really like and that's all of it and comes with a small manual uh, which gives us some uh, information but sadly this is in Chinese so not very helpful if you are from any kind of other country that is not China and that won't make the setup easy but this thing is very easy to set up it's uh, you only need the Mi Home app uh, and uh, let me show you how this works because I don't want to bore you with a, a very long review I've just installed this but I'm going to show how to use it and when you connect this to the power also by the way it has a reset button in case something goes wrong or you cannot set up this just push that button this will reset it has an LED here it blinks and when this is steady it has connected already to my wireless network it's very easy to set up uh, when you just plug this in, if your mobile phone is in the same wireless network uh, that you use regularly at home, this will kind of detect the local network and it will also be shown here that there's a new device detected and if you wish to add it, so it's fully automated. But uh, be sure to have Bluetooth enabled on your mobile phone, uh, wireless enabled and also GPS because on uh, newer apps and Android you need to have GPS uh, location because it uses some kind of resource to find local devices or something like that and that's it then uh, you can install it it will ask for your wireless password then uh, select that from the list and the data will be transferred to this and this then will connect to your wireless network and it will appear into your uh, devices list here and as simple as that you are going to have this uh, me universal remote and here you can search for codes or add other codes for instance I can uh, do a search and you have official or do it yourself and I can search for a brand um, the good thing is that uh, most brands are both in English and Chinese so if I want to search for Samsung let's say all right and and what it's displayed here should be various models of Samsung devices uh, and I can see here soundbar general uh, and some TV model names VCR combo and stuff like that uh, it's not always uh, finding what you need and you can always clone your device which is uh, very easy you can uh, create from this menu uh, let's say air purifier uh, and then it asks for some buttons to test and it can test some patterns and if they work you can validate them 
but if they do not work you can copy them and uh, make your own uh, codes for instance this is uh, uh, already found LG television uh, remote control and all these uh, labels here really correspond with my remote and it looks like this so I have the volume here with the volume here I have uh, channel up down this I have the d-pad with the OK I have the menu the back uh, it's not the same layout as the original uh, remote control but the buttons are having the same label and the same function and they work really well and if I want to add other buttons I have so, uh, like uh, electronic program guide and input and uh, web TV options and so on all of those advanced functions that usually are found in the down part here of the remote uh, or on the top part here all of them are available in this advanced menu and this keeps it uh, clutter free and makes it uh, really easy to use and now it's time for a quick demo so I'm going to press power on on the remote here actually not on the remote but on the app the remote is here I'm not using it and it has a bit of delay because that's how my television works and it has started and now I can use all the functions for example even the advanced ones should work and I can go to electronic program guide and I get the channel list I can go back I can navigate with the d-pad here uh, and that will move there and I can confirm it and I can change the channel also uh, channel buttons here work and it will switch back and forth or forward I can adjust the volume so absolutely all the functions work and now there's no delay a delay was just starting up the television and that's the television issue it's not the app and you can see if I want to turn it off it will turn off almost as an instant because that's how it works so all the functions work and it's very easy to use and this is not only for the television for instance I can use this with my Mi TV box with my air conditioning and the best of it uh, comes now and that is the automation function and you can create really nice things for instance I can create uh, an if and I have all the sensors here and I can select a switch or a water leak or a temperature event or a weather event and then uh, for the then option um, I can uh, let's say me switch something like that single press alright and then I can use the universal remote controller and I can go into remote mode and then I can choose what remote I want to use and what function I want to use for instance if it's uh, uh, Monday morning and I want to wake up uh, and go to uh, work I can turn on the television on my favorite channel uh, let's say music and it will wake me up with music or for instance if it's uh, too hot in the room I can use the remote to turn on my non-smart air conditioning and it will set it up on the appropriate temperature because I have this white Westinghouse uh, air conditioning and look at that all the functions are supported including uh, working mode, uh, wind, wind amount it's the power of the ventilator uh, horizontal vertical violation of the adjustment temperature increase reduce heat mode cool mode so all of that is here so I can uh, control all the functions of my air conditioning and this can be also integrated with smart plugs or smart heaters and so on uh, you have unlimited controls with this remote controller and that makes it really really smart and very useful in a, a smart home environment so that was it for now. I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, um, review of the infrared remote blaster. And be sure to follow my next uploads where I'm going to test more home smart devices. And I'm going to add all of them to one single playlist. So you can see a lot of similar devices and what you can actually use them for. Until then, see you and bye bye.